Hello guys, as you may recall, in the last tutorial we made these checkpoints where the regular mode, which was that whenever we go into the checkpoint, that checkpoint will turn into active and all the other previous checkpoints that you have triggers will come into this uh, waiting state where we could go back into them to make them active again. And in this tutorial we're going to try to make the locked mode, so let's get started with this mode. So let's go into the checkpoint handler that we made in here in the last tutorial. And as you can see over here, we have already added the locked mode to this enum called mode, so that we can change it over here. And I'm going to change it already to locked, so that we program it. And to program the locked mode, as we may recall, we put this over here. We're going to make here else if the mode equals mode dot locked then we want something to, to happen and if you don't remember this update checkpoints uh, method was called every time we entered into a checkpoint so every time we enter into a checkpoint in this checkpoint script it would call that this function and in this function, as you can see over here, what in the for the regular mode, it will go through all of the checkpoints and do something to it to them, and then activate the last one. And we're going to do kind of a, a thing, a similar thing in this tutorial, but of course it's going to be different because instead of the regular mode, it will be the locked. So I'm going to copy this for each loop over here into here, and let's think. When I enter a checkpoint, do I want it to, to become active? So, in the locked mode, so in the locked mode, locked mode, if I enter this checkpoint, of course it's inactive, then I want it to become active. But what, what if I, I, I've already triggered these two, two checkpoints, now this one is supposed to be locked, so if I go into it, I don't want to activate it, meaning we want to make the checkpoint that we hit active if it's not locked. And that's easily done, and that's similar to this line over here. So I'm going to copy this line over here to this part after the loop. So if the curve check, and we want to check if the status, if the status is not locked, is not check one state locked. Then, then we want the checkpoint to become active. Okay. And when do we want the checkpoints to be locked? Well, say we have hit these three checkpoints, and this was the last one that we hit. We want so basically what we want to do is to make the checkpoints that are not the last one to be locked. So in this loop over here, which cycles through all the checkpoints, we're going to check. If the, the current, if the if the CP, which is one of the checkpoints that is checking, was the last one, if it wasn't, then we want to make it locked. Let me try and show you to see if it's more clear. If CP is not the current checkpoint, so if the checkpoint that's checking isn't the current one, and if the checkpoint that we are checking isn't inactive because if it is in inactive then we don't want to make it locked because inactive checkpoint which is this state over here it's inactive inactive checkpoints are still lockable let's say so if it's not the current checkpoint and the state of the checkpoint isn't inactive it will make the checkpoint locked save and if I play, let's see what's happening. So as you can see here, in the checkpoint handler, we have the locked mode active. So now if I go into a checkpoint, the checkpoint turns green. And if I go into the, another checkpoint, the, the previous checkpoint turns red, meaning we can we can activate it again, supposedly. And as you can see, as I go through the checkpoints, the previous checkpoints turn red. Meaning, if I go on to them, whoops, if I go on to them, 
nothing should happen but as you can see something happens so all we have to do is check is check if if the checkpoint that we are hitting is locked because if we were going into the, this checkpoint we don't basically want the scene to remain so we don't want this to happen and to check that here we can check over here if we are in the locked mode and the current checkpoint dot status so if this isn't the locked status so checkpoint dot state dot locked if the checkpoint isn't locked then we want all of this to happen but, but if it is locked nothing will happen so right now it will working it will be working fine as you can see if I go through this checkpoint that one this one remain, remains active and that's exactly what we want and that's it now there's just a little thing that I did that it was not needed to be done which was this line over here because as you can see this line over here is a repetition of this line over here so we can basically delete it because it's doing nothing so delete it save and now still everything is working fine